I came to one retreat because for a while I, I felt like medicine was calling me. I didn't really know what that meant or what that looked like. Um, just wasn't familiar with this world, with this space at all. I just, I, I came here with one idea in mind and I got just so much more than I could have ever asked for or imagined. I came to one retreat um, by recommendation because I wanted to get rid of my pain. My journey was sensational, unexpected, nothing like that. It's went above and beyond, full transformation, full spectrum of transformation. As you continue to pay attention to your breath, allow your mind to create an image of a great tree, or a plant, or a herb, that is giving you oxygen this very moment. Plant medicine is something I heard about um, through the community um, that I'm in. I was, uh, I am a combat veteran, and uh, started to becoming a little, little more mainstream speaking about it and uh, how much it was helping guys essentially start to heal. So in this setting, it's more of a community type healing. Uh, it's guided, so you know you're not alone. It's not just sitting in the middle of the desert and, and hoping that something talks to you. It's uh, very much a, a guided path where you come in with intentions set, something, uh, something that you can kind of set expectations behind. You know that you're going to be supported and that you're safe and that, you know, there's caring staff that are going to help you through it because they've all been through it. Once you're diving into the, uh, to whatever it is you're diving into, you don't have to do it alone. There is support. So being able to throw a hand up and know that they're gonna be there and that circle, that tribe is truly there, that trust is there. Um, you are not alone in this journey and understanding this, this community is, is so powerful. I came very resistant. I didn't believe it, I didn't trust it. I didn't, I didn't know I could let go of that pain. And my message to everyone, come, come get rid of your pain. Don't live in, with pain. A journey, or at least in this case, uh, as far as setting goes, you, you, know, you walk into this beautiful uh, shala, you have an altar in the center where you can kind of put your intentions there, whether it's uh, a little trinket or, or something to remind you of, of, of why you're there. Um, and then surrounding our, you know, there were mattresses where that's where you're going to be taking your journey. Um, and as far as the actual journey itself and what that means, it's a very, very deep inward look at yourself that you can't quite get with talk therapy or meditation. It's, it's tapping into your subconscious, uh, or at least it was for me. It's where you could have a deeper conversation with yourself and truly figure out, you know, what you want. It, stripping it of all like emotion and ego so you're able to take that step out uh, of your own skin and, and analyze everything that, that you've done uh, as well as having a deeply profound experience uh, visually the setting is trust that is that is the setting um, it is being in that room and understanding that you are safe. That is the simplest way to put it. Trust and safety is the setting of the ceremony. I couldn't imagine um, going through this journey in any other type of setting other than here where we are. We were engulfed in nature and we had all of it. We had the water, we had the trees, we had the animals and the birds chirping. We, we had absolutely everything that we needed here and the music during the journey. Ugh, couldn't have done it without the music in the journey.
showing up and, and putting in that work every day and putting your, your life on the line, first responders, um, all these people that go above and beyond to help. Uh, it's okay to it's okay to take a breath and to uh, to look at yourself. It's okay to ask for help, even though you are the helper. Yeah, I, I think it was comforting hearing other people's journeys and and their stories to get a little bit more of their background and um, understand that you know everybody, no matter who you are, is going to go through something, some sort of trauma, and whether it's combat related or or just life in general um, they can have deep and profound like lasting effects and and I think that that this experience is definitely help would help you know no matter really what experience you've had I'm going home I'm taking home love I wish I can take home all these lovely people including the participants because because of the leadership of the one retreat week, we created such a bond amongst participants. Um, no one other than one retreat. Uh, I don't think that I could do this with any other group of people. Um, you guys were just like a bunch of mama and papa bears for us. And um, it might be scary for some people, but it's one of those things that if you want to get to the other side, like you just, you have to do it. It's absolutely worth everything. It's worth the money, it's worth the time, it's worth the pain that you go through. And to, yeah, just, just have the courage to do it for yourself. Love yourself enough to just get here and do this.